If you want to know how to make the jailbreak film robbery in Roblox Studio, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my channel. In this tutorial we'll be covering uh, the jailbreak tomb robbery part 6. It's gonna be a quick tutorial regarding uh, money saving and uh, like those gates like um, at the bridge you have like those gates and if you like crouch they're gonna go up and they're gonna go down. So we're basically gonna be doing that for this tutorial. It's not gonna be a long tutorial. In the next tutorial I really hope to make uh, the minecarts but the minecarts just require a lot of research because they're pretty hard to make. So, yeah, just that. So, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. Turn on notifications and hit that bell. And if you like this video, just like it. If you dislike this video, dislike it. Simple. It gives me a really honest feedback to what upgrading my video is. And, um, yeah, if you like my content, thank you very much. And I always hurt my comments, so make sure to comment something nice and you'll get a heart from me. Do you know how cool that is? It is. So, if you want to become a member, click the blue join button down below. And we can start off already. So for money saving, it is pretty simple. We're going to be using my project uh, me and Salvage made called Greenwich. And uh, it's just a data store wrapper which makes data storing, data saving, and all of that stuff super easy. So of course, we're going to, we're going to be using that. So we want to go over to the link in the description. Yes, to the link in the description. And when you click on the link, you should go to this page where I'm on right now. So what you want to do at the first line, you want to go all the way down till return Greenwich. And then you just want to control C or just copy it. So once you've done that, you can go head back into Roblox Studio. And voila, now you're back in Roblox Studio. Now go into server storage and add it a module script. Boom. Rename it to Greenwich. Like green witch without the T, so Greenwich for spelling, and you will just want to paste that in. If you get those red underlines, just don't worry about it. So now you can just exit it, and now you want to go to the real type of coding. It's going to be pretty easy. You want to go to Surface Script Service. You can go to Leader Stats, I guess. It doesn't really matter where you go, as long as you can save data on it. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so money.value, you want to require Greenwich first by saying local Greenwich is it's the require. And now we're going to do over here, local server storage is equals the game. I want get service, server storage. And now you require server storage. Now you can do Greenwich require server storage dot Greenwich. And now you've successfully uh, required Greenwich for your game. So that is um, pretty cool. So now we can go on by the real coding type. And over here, money that value is to zero. We're going to change that. We're going to be changing that to Greenwich, colon, get DB. And you just want to do money. You can do whatever you want as long as it's money, like something associated. Colon, get player, the user ID. But if that's not the case, just do or zero. So if you don't have any data, we're just going to set it to zero automatically. Pretty cool, right? So, so to continue on, at the end, you want to do game, colon, bind to close function. So when the game, like once the game, you're going to like shut down, we're going to save every data by saying Greenwich, colon, and Q. And that's it. Greenwich is super simple. Now you can do game colon get service uh, players and now you can do the player removing colon connect function player and all you want to type is Greenwich um so let me see we want to save it so we're gonna do Greenwich colon get DB we're gonna get the money DB because we're saving it on the money value and then you want to do colon save player that user ID. We're going to save it on your player ID. And that's it. That's how simple it is. And now you want to do one thing, in my opinion. 
and that is player dot leader stats. Player dot leader stats. We can just money. I think we can do money. I don't know. Player dot leader stats. Uh, the money colon get property changed signal value colon connect function like that and that should work so now we can do once anything uh, changes we're gonna do Greenwich colon get db money class said and we're gonna do that on player the user ID I'm gonna set it on player dot leader stats dot money dot value and we're going to do false. There you go. And if you want to test this out, go ahead. You can just, uh, I don't know, you can just publish a game, play. You can do all sorts of stuff. So now you can just do this. Oh my lord. Server request. Okay, I get it. You want to go to game? You want to go to security? You want to enable studio API access services? So you click save and click play. It's almost good to test out your game, you know. And as you can see, the error is gone now. So we can do game, call on get service. Players. Dot newbie. Dot bdiv. Dot leader stance. Dot money. Dot value. Is it because of 500 or whatever? So now we got 50. I doubt it's going to save. I don't know. I it's Studio, you know. And studio does not always save, you know. So I should be at zero or something. Oh, as you can see, I left and I'm at 50 million cash. So if I load in again, you're going to see my money is instantly loaded in. Boom. Instantly. And that's because Greenwich has this cash system and all of that stuff. If you want to know how to use Greenwich, go to the link in the description for the video. Because it is really cool. So that is Greenwich. And now we can continue off with the tutorial for the, like those gates, you know. So you want to make a part. It doesn't really matter as long as it's a part, you know. Just gonna make sure it's a little bit of a platform because we're here in testing phrases. Just gonna make a little platform. Why not? Okay, we're just gonna do this. And the gem, you can just put the gem over here, like a few of them. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So now you want to just go to toolbox, just images, I don't know, some kind of gate ID. Okay, that is not what I want. Um, so we're just gonna do prison. Jail cells. Just gotta get those bars, you know? Like those transparent bars. Mm, cells bar. Jail bars, then. It is really complicated to search for what you want. Okay, there you go. You're just gonna click parts. And you just wanna make it the size whatever you want it to. For example, you can just do this. And there you go. And this is the useless stuff thingies. And we're going to be making another folder for this. We're going to go to here. We're going to duplicate it. We're going to delete everything. And we're going to type gates. I'm going to put this in. I'm going to group it. And I'm going to... Hold on. I'm going to call it just gate1. There you go. Okay. So now you want to like, this is going to be like the, the main door or whatever it is. I'm just going to call it main gate for less confusion. Now we want to duplicate it like a little bit up like that. I want to make the transparency one. And you can call this the refer gate. Now add in another gate like that. And just call it the tween gate. And make sure transparency is one and both uh, of those gates, uh, the tween and refer are can collide off. Go to workspace, anchor everything. Um, the main gate has to be like invisible too, but not precise. Just gonna add in a bar icon. Yeah, I, I know it doesn't look the best, but you get the point of what I mean with this. Uh, now. I'm just going to make it a little bit of decoration because, you know, it doesn't look too good, but also not too bad. You just want to make it like part around it, you know, part. 
that is exactly what we're going to be doing now. There you go. Just want to get a little bit simple, you know, get the point. Okay, there you go. Now, this is your good. It's going to go all the way up, so we're just going to do this. So, that is good. This is going to be your gate. Now, you, of course, you need a detector part for that. And that's going to be fairly simple. So, to do that, you want to make... It uh, uh, doesn't really matter. Just make another part, I guess. And make it a little bit of a detecting-ish. So, we're just going to do this. And make the transparency one. Anchored on, can't collide false. So this is going to be gate detector one. And we're gonna put that in um, in the gate itself. We're gonna go to executors. We're gonna make another executing for, uh, let's see, what is it? The gates. This is going to be deleted. This is going to be another script. And we're going to be calling this script the gate executor. Boom. So now we can do local gate one is it the script the parent let me see it's gonna be a lot of parenting so script mm -hmm. the parent the parent parent descendants map dot gates dot gate one now we can do gate one dot gate detector one the touched call on connect function uh hit and we're gonna be typing if it hit the parent so, uh, oh, in capitalized H, if hit the parent, uh, call on find first child humanoid, then, and now we gotta do the tweening crap, and that's gonna be taking probably a lot of time, but doesn't matter. Now we can do a local tween service is equals to game, call on get service, to lean service, and that is like the service to like move things, uh, you get the point? So that's really cool. So that's what we're going to be doing. And now we need to define... Um, well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Now we've got to type local D is equal to shoe. If D is equal to shoe, then D equals false. And D equals true. And in here, we're going to be typing the rest of our code. Okay. So, once we touched it, we know it's a player, and we're going to be disabling it. Um, like we're going to be disabling it so it cannot be, like, reactivated, you know? So, now we can do tween service, colon create, colon play. And uh, we can type, we're going to be tweening the gate one dot main gate. We're going to be tweening the main gate. I just noticed the back of the gate has to have a decal too. Front, back, there we go. So now we got a, like a two-sided gate. Back to our script. Uh, we're going to be doing tween info dot new. And let me see number. So how long is it going to take? It's going to take around two seconds. Why not? Now we can do enum dot easing style. Easing style dot uh, quince. Enum dot easing direction dot in out. And then go out of that bracket. Go over here and type those curved brackets and type position is equals to gates get well gate one dot refer gate dot position and the refer gate is this one over here like the, the top one now you want to copy this we're going to be waiting five seconds we're going to be pasting it again just keep everything the same but change the refer gate to tween gate and then, then we're going to be waiting another th 30 seconds, uh, and then it can be reactivated again. So we're going to be publishing that for a second, and we're going to be testing that out. So we're going to go to play here. So we're loaded in now. We're going to go over here. We're just going to walk over to things. And I believe there is a way to get an error on this. Yep. But that uh, doesn't matter. So if we go over here, as you can see, the gate goes up. And it should go down. As you can see, it goes down. 
and I noticed uh, you can make it a little bit smaller main gate a little bit smaller and we can put the refer gate a little bit down so you get like this feeling that it's like going up if you want we're gonna be changing it to th we're gonna add an extra second to everything there we go you're doing great so we're just gonna click play we're gonna be moving and over here, as you can see, it's going to go up slowly. It's going to be stuck over there. We can pass through. And it's going to close again. And there you go. That is your gate system. And over here, you can, like, get the gems. You get the point. But, Jailbreak has two of them. You might be wondering, newbie, that is, like, fairly easy, right? Yes, it is, sir or ma'am. So, that's uh, really cool. So, go into your bridge script. And over here type uh yep over here type pcal function and put an end over here and uh that should fix it so now all you have to do is you just want to copy i'm just going to copy all of it including the gate uh where is it here and we're just going to be duplicating it over here and that's pretty cool and but now all you want to do is change this to 2 and change the gate detector to 2 go back into your gate executor copy all of this paste it here now we want to do gate uh, we got to define gate 2 by saying local gate 2 it's because the script the parent the parent the parent the descendants map dot gates dot gate 2 that's fairly easy so now we can do gate 2 and gate 2 uh, gate 2 and gate 2 and over here the last one gate 2 and that is everything done so now we're going to be clicking play here again for testing purposes alrighty so now we can continue over here it's going to open up for us we can pass through and immediately if you go over here it should open but it's not Hmm, that is a little bit sussy buck up impost. Oh, there it is. Hmm, that is fairly weird. It is not allowed to do that. In that case, make another script. This is going to be the gate 1, and this is going to be the gate 2. And just copy all of this and delete this. Go over here. Um, let me see. And I just want to delete everything from the one. And you're good to go. Now we can click play here again. We're going to be doing our final test. Alrighty. So if we go over here. We can go. It's going to go open up. And immediately this one should open up now. As you can see. They open up. That one's going to close. And this one's going to close after that. There you go. So basically that is it for this tutorial. I mean we got money saving. And we got a lot of. We got the gates. Next part, I really try to focus on um, the minecart and the money claiming. Money claiming shouldn't be that hard. But we're going to be doing that in the next tutorial. So, if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe. And all I can say is my name is Newbie, and I say peace out.